Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the LEGO Hero Factory Breeze Constructible Figure Toy. This set uh, was originally released in the summer of 2010, and uh, I bought this set at a Target for $8. The Hero Factory line is a brand new line for LEGO, and follows on the uh, long-running LEGO Bionicle. And uh, Hero Factory uh, introduces a new story, uh, and it's... Uh, it's a story of, uh, I guess, factory-made heroes uh, to combat the evils uh, that uh, that take place around uh, various planets and, I guess, basically throughout the universe, I guess. Uh, I guess the main story takes place in Maku Hero City, uh, thanks to Grimlock Reviews for uh, pointing that out to me. Hang loose there. And... This particular uh, hero, uh, Breeze, is a female uh, hero, or her heroine, and uh, she uh, is part of the, uh, I guess, the rookie team uh, from Hero Factory. I think Team Alpha, uh, if I'm doing my research correctly. Uh, there's a, uh, a team of veterans and a team of rookies, and Breeze is one of the members of the rookie team. And if you look closely at all of the uh, rookie members, they all have the same basic uh, chest piece here, chest armor, uh, to identify them, I guess, as rookies. I guess they have to earn their way up to get a unique piece of armor <laughs> on there. But uh, everything else, I guess, is uh, pretty much uh, unique, like the mask and, I guess, the accessories that go with this uh, figure and it looks like Breeze has a couple of bladed weapons there taking a look at uh, the back of the package you can see uh, her full name is Natalie Breeze and you can see her combating uh, Thunder here one of the villains from Hero Factory line uh, not much else uh, to describe who Breeze is or her backstory is pretty typical of Lego. They don't include that. You'd have to go on the web, uh, watch, uh, I guess, cartoons, or co read some comics to find out uh, who these uh, heroes are. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take uh, Breeze out of the package, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we have Breeze out of the package. Obviously, she's still unassembled. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the contents of the uh, package first. Uh, first thing we'll take a look at here is the assembly manual for Breeze. And uh, like the bulk uh, I took a peek at earlier, uh, it's uh, not too complicated to put uh, Breeze together. I think this is one of the starter pieces or starter sets. And uh, the starter sets I think are pretty much all the same. Uh, they, you know, they have the basic uh, chest, arm, legs, and uh, armor pieces and accessories to go with it on there. I'll have to look at the arms and legs. I think they're exactly the same on all of the starter sets. Uh, it's just probably the armor, mask, and accessories that are unique on these figures. And uh, this set has 19 pieces. And uh, Breeze uh, is primarily, uh, for the body, uh, black. And for the armor pieces, uh, a light, uh, I guess, lime green color on there. And of course, her head is uh, translucent orange, uh, like bulks. And uh, she, she has this, the H emblem on here. I, I think this is some power core piece. I can't remember what the term is. I have to do more research on that. Uh, she does come with these bladed weapons, which is kind of neat. It's made of a soft plastic, though. And I guess uh, to make it safer for the kitties on there. So, But it's kind of neat. I like this bladed weapon on there. And I like the two-color uh, paint that they applied to it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll be right back and have Brees uh, put together. And uh, we'll be right back. 
All right, uh, we have Breeze uh, put together, and uh, it's actually a pretty nice uh, figure here. I have her uh, getting ready to do a, a slice and dice on an opponent here. <laughs> nice pose there. And uh, taking a look at Breeze in more detail, and uh, she with the uh, rookie outfit and the same chest piece, uh, there's not much to distinguish uh, her from the other rookie uh, Hero Factory figures other than the head and the accessories on here. And taking a look at the uh, head here, or the mask I should say, it's actually uh, pretty neat. Uh, looks bug-like in design. And uh, I think it's a rather neat design, tell you the truth. You can see some details in the mask. It looks like a, some sort of mic on here and a, um, I don't know, a scope on the side. It's kind of neat. And then you have the standard uh, chest armor here for a rookie. And uh, just a different color and the standard uh, leg armor for both the veterans and uh, rookies I believe on there. Oh, of course you have the chest uh, emblem there. And uh, you can see uh, she comes with uh, two fists as opposed to uh, like Bulk who only had one fist and a, a weapon uh, for an arm. Uh, she has two fists and she, whoops, excuse me, and she dual wields uh, these blades. It's just really nice. I really like these blades, uh, especially the two color paint on there of the green and gray. And it, I like the gray that's in between the hand and the blade on there. It's very nice on there. And you can get breeze in a lot of poses uh, with the uh, articulation. Uh, on the wrists here not a lot of nice poses again like uh, all the other starter sets there's no articulation in the elbows or knees of this figure which is unfortunate uh, if those were articulated you can probably get them into a lot more dynamic poses that's for sure on there and uh, like the other um, other hero factory figures uh, no armor on the back so that's kind of interesting if you want to catch these uh, Hero Factory guys, you got to get them from behind. They don't have any protection <laughs> from behind there. So, But uh, going over the articulation of Breeze here, uh, the head uh, does go all the way around, up and down, side to side, uh, just on a ball joint, which is nice. And uh, the arms do go all the way around, uh, out and in. Uh, just Basically, uh, that's on a ball joint as well, as are the wrists, so uh, you can get the wrists and all the way around, up and down as well. And uh, no uh, waist or torso articulation. I, I want to twist the torso so bad, but it just there's no articulation on there and it limits the dynamic posing of the figure. Uh, legs are on a ball joint at the hip. So you can go in all sorts of directions, up, down, back, out to the side, even rotate on there. No articulation as I mentioned. And the feet uh, do go up and down and twist a little bit, uh, but because of the uh, leg armor here prevents a lot of the uh, posing on here. Overall it's a nice basic figure uh, for Hero Factory, a nice starter you could say. And uh, I really like the mask design, it's very nice on there. And the her uh, blades, I really like the blades as well. So, but this is my casual peek into the LEGO Hero Factory Breeze. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>